Weber. May I ask a question? Yep. Yes. What? Why did you? Why were your patients? Why did the patients die? What did they die what did from? Uh, most of the patients die die from mitochondrial failure, and uh, to our surprise, most of these patients have hypoxemia. I think three uh, most important uh, cause of death is septic shock, septic shock, and respiratory failure, and cardiovascular complications. The patients who survived, how long was the usual duration of mechanical ventilation? Uh, I think uh, from the onset of the symptom to uh, intubation, it's about two weeks. The mean duration is two weeks. From intubation to discharge or the, uh, to stop mm -hmm. ventilation is usually uh, one to uh, ten, 10 days to two weeks. And my last uh, question is um, how often uh, or what was the, uh, the prevalence of the myocarditis? We were getting some reports from some uh, case in Seattle of a patient getting better and then he had myocardial failure, mm -hmm. cardiac shock. Has that been a problem either early or later in your patients? We, we analyzed all, uh, patient, all dead patients and uh, the record, I mean, I retrospected investigated their data. We do have uh, three patients with cardio cardiac shock, uh, but it's not at the beginning of the disease, but it's at the end of the uh, mm -hmm. life. And before that, the, the echocardiography of this, these three patients is, is fine, uh, or the, in two patients. And another patient had previous myocardial infarction. So in in my opinion is there's no evidence of the viral myocarditis in COVID-19, no evidence.